too self-critical on yourself. A lot of people do it, and I'm one of them. But I also take time to understand that the healing aspect of things is very important. It's very important, very crucial. I remember this one time, right? I'm gonna tell you a story. I remember I had my AirPods in and I fell asleep, knocked out. One of those wake up drool sleeps, right? Nasty. But when I woke up, I couldn't find my AirPods. I didn't know where they was at. I'm checking the couch, I'm looking, nowhere. I'm hitting people up, like, yo, y'all seen my AirPods? Yo, if you took my AirPods, accusing people and shit, right? Oh, because I don't know where my AirPods at. I'm telling myself, yo, bro, how you so careless? You just spent your bread on this, 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 that, and the third, and you losing this, all that, right? I'm talking to myself crazy. I go in the bathroom, I look, the AirPods is in my ear. They just died. So that little whole period of stress that I put myself through on the body of being confused and unclear of what's going on in my life, at that moment, I put myself through that stress through those accusations, through all of those things, right? Being self-critical of myself. But I say all of that to say this, in those moments in time when we go through our trials and tribulations in life, those little periods of how we see ourselves, how we view ourselves, how we talk to ourselves is very important. You sometimes have to nurture yourself, be able to apologize for the way that you treated yourself, the way you spoke to yourself, the way, you know, you handled yourself in those situations where you felt you wasn't showing up the way you wanted to view your own self, if that makes sense, you know? And be mindful of how you speak into yourself and take that time to be like, you know what, I apologize that I put myself through that situation in my aspect of confusion right my confusion was unclear to me at that moment but i looked at the process of all of the ways i spoke to myself in that process under the confusion and take time to really nurture yourself be kind to yourself be patient with yourself because you're gonna make mistakes there's our imperfections is what make us perfect. So during those moments of your imperfections, try to treat yourself with the patience and the kindness that you will want yourself to be for you and how you will show up for others in that time of need of how you will speak to yourself and how you will want to be spoken to in that same aspect of that same situation. Now, it's not only going to be mine with just the AirPods. I just use that situation to relay this message. But there's times where people fail in life. There's times where you come up short. There's going to be times where you might feel embarrassed about something. There's going to be times you might feel, you know, neglected, might feel abandoned, might feel not sure of yourself, uncomfortable. But how you nurture and treat yourself within those moments is very important. And just take those time to, you know, level up within yourself with your approach of your speech within yourself. And if you already do that, salute to you. But there are so many people that I believe, you know, suffer or or, 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 or don't treat themselves the most kindness in their, in their situations where dilemma and, and confusion occurs. But this is just my opinion, my perspective, and a few of you guys' reality. I sign off on that note, Mr. Wavy True Chick. When did it start? How will it end? All of these questions, they got me looking within. My heart hurting. I ain't trying to pretend music.